internet decided that it wanted to shut off for a little bit. But everything is fixed now. And hopefully I shouldn't have any more issues. Um, uh, I just figured I'd pull up the next seed in the meantime. It's a Sid start, which is interesting. Sid's not someone I really like that much, but he, he definitely has his uses, I will say. I'm not too disappointed with the Sid start. Anyway. This without further ado, I don't want to spend too much time sitting here not doing it, not getting started, so... I guess without further ado, let's start the timer and jump right in. This is just more table practice. It's all table flags. Our objectives are a super cannon, which is interesting. A vase bot and rat tail. Sid and Kane... I don't know. Hi, Cabin. I am not going to let Kane join for now. Sid and Kane serve a very similar purpose in the party. There's a lot of overlap between them. It's nice to have the cane option, but since I have to take the Sid, I'm not really leaning towards taking the cane necessarily right now. Maybe later. Kane's still great. I still like him a lot. If I find a decent weapon for him, absolutely. But for right now, we're going to stick with Sid. I am going to make those two routing changes that I mentioned at the end of last seed, which are we're going to not double dip ordeals, because that's silly. And I'm going to try not to... Oh, hey, Yang. Yang is interesting. I have a Yang available. I can already back row glitch Kane, which is nice. Uh, sure, we'll hit Rose's house up. That's it. Okay. Silk webs are here, that's good to know. Silk webs and Baron. Didn't get the trophy for us, but I don't really care to go back for it. Who is our character in here? Calvin Bow, not bad. Hi, Cecil. You are not joining the party at this point. Although it's good to know we have access to you as well. More physical fighters, if I want more of them. There are cases where I'd accept one of them into the party, but it's not likely. After reading Kaipo, of course. Because I want to know if I have Sand Ruby character on the table. I will absolutely trade the black armor for some new arrows. Uh, not great. Uh, another Sid in the bed. Probably will not take that. I like knowing that Sand Ruby is useless. I forgot to change it, but you chose a good direction. I would like some Dorages as well. I don't need Fire Armor. I'll find something better. There's so many armors that are better than Fire Armor, I will find something. Time for back of watery pass. Okay. That's some spicy loot. 
I love that all these treasures are full. Okay, that's some defense already. That's good. but that's okay. What are the odds? This is the third practice seed in a row that I have rolled King Queen Eblon at this spot. What is this? I should just start expecting this. I mean, Sid can tank all of these hits. Whatever, like... What the heck, game? Can I ever roll a seed that isn't King Queen Eblon at the waterfall? And I'm taking these fights because I may as well, like, I may as well grab this waterfall loot. Samurai arrows are welcome. We might be going Archer Sid. And another Stardust item. Not bad. Just to be clear, I don't like to punch through here and loot this place that much. It's just, if it's King Queen Eblon, I will absolutely grab that loot. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna walk. Skip Dancy Basement. It's not helpful. But I want to check this character. Validation chest is empty today. Hello, Cecil number two. Uh, that could be a strat. I have a Dwarf Axe already, so I can already nerf one of the Cecil's agilities. I'm not going to take this Cecil, but I am considering double Cecil at the moment. Given the characters I've seen so far. I'm going to swing over to Hobbs. I should save, I should save outside. We're looking for ideally, I mean ideally Rosa Pound or Tella. I would love Rosa Pound or Tella. But not here, I'd actually like to win the city. Uh, no, I'm going to peek this boss. Good. There is no way I'm sitting through that alt gauntlet for the extra Cecil. Honestly, this route might be better just because... Even if I do add up ordeals, I think I should double dip ordeals. I'm not going to hit the top. Perfect. I love seeing the first chest be trapped, honestly. It's just real nice to know right away. I'm not wasting time. One of the trap chests is gone. There's only two left. Really, I, I, wanna, I wanna see trap chests at the beginning of tower, at the beginning of each section, rather than the end. Some decent stuff, but not much. I may come back here if this is a hook route to loot, to hit the trap chests up, because they are decent loot. Everyone trap chests are actually a decent source of, good, can be a decent source of good loot. Since the trap chests are good, in general. Okay, saved outside. That's what I want to see. That's two trap chests. Both right at the beginning of their sections of the castle, which is very nice. 
only one of these chests is trapped at this point. We're gonna head right first, because it's probably over here. If it's in here, it's, I'm gonna guess it's not in the left. That makes this whole thing worth it. That Runax is enough. That is huge for Sid. Uh, I am going to dip back in one last time. You know what, I may as well equip the Runax just in case we run into something first that, then room. I should probably have done that outside, that's okay. Should definitely have done that outside. I was like, watch that be the glass trap chest. No. Uh, I can put you in the back row, though. Uh, so nothing is trapped yet. Uh, one of these is trapped. That one's trapped. It had to be. Okay. See, it is looking real well outfitted. I'm gonna double dip ordeals just to peek the character before I get to it and do a little bit of looting here, but... I'm not going to do that much looting. Sid's looking really good. Okay. I will take a samurai hat. Yeah, I do want to knock the character cutscene out of the way. Okay, Kane is also looking good. That gun mirror is all I needed to convince me to take Kane. Kane is coming. Very likely, Kane is coming. And this Palom is definitely joining the party as well. Palom is one of those characters that I will absolutely let into the party. However, this is an interesting dilemma, because if I take Kane, I can't do double Cecil, but I haven't seen any Cecil weapons. Yet. But right now we got Sid and Palom in... If I take Kane, I, doing double Cecil means I'm cutting myself off from any possible white mage, which is not ideal, to say the least. Show me who my characters are. That's another Palin that I don't need. I don't need two Palins. And another Palin that I don't need. <laughs> oh dear, the seed is heard that I needed black mages and decided from last seed. No. No. I want to grab Kane real quick. Yeah, come along, Kane. You're good enough. I found a gun near for you. We're going. And I have enough heavy armor that I should be able to outfit both Sid and Kane pretty well. Not gonna do double Cecil. Work back to first, then a gun gear. That was a missed menu. I thought I'd put sword at the top. Well, it's fine. I don't need that cabin anyway. Silly me. I'm not used to having a consumable item as my first item. This party is all set up, ready to go. Let's go blaze through Ant Lion Cave real quick. Who needs loot from here? I don't. I need to make up some time somehow. 
Rooting Antlion takes a while. Not Rooting Antlion doesn't take nearly as long, and with a Gungnir and a Runax, which are the best weapons I could possibly find for both Kane and Sid at this point, I'm fine without them. Uh, do you have anything? I even have a Charm Rod for you? This seed has been generous. Jeez. Yeah, this seed has been real nice. Hi, DKC. Okay, we don't even need to heal anyone. DKC does not care about jumps. This should be fine. I love seeing DKC here. Because that is very free. Yeah, give me a justice speech and give me a little bit of a level so that Talon can run ice too and start tearing through things. I mean, we do need a lot of key items for go mode, I will say. That's the one thing about this seed. But, early game looting has definitely been nice. Has definitely been kind. And it looks like the seed is determined to make me do music today, which is totally fine. I am sorry about not doing music from the last seed. My, I was on my way to do it. And then... My router was like, nope. Okay, that line done. I see we beeline it for deals. Spruceable defense. Also, apparently, screw shopping. I'm gonna stop by Silvera real quick, because I need some things. <laughs> Second gun year. Why not? And there's a light sword. Now I kinda wanna go double Cecil, but that's too bad. Not at this point. I have found the Gungnir is still I feel like Kane is still better overall. And I don't need Light Sword Cecil. I'm gonna actually head over to Tara. No, we'll stop at Toria later. Or we have Twin Heart. I'll do that, route that into one. Check. Um. Time to climb ordeals again. Who needs loot at this point? I'm good. I got everything I need. Really, the weapons and some of the other staff boosting gear is all I'm looking for in terms of loot. And we got, I think, the best weapons that we could possibly have on all three of the characters that I've got at the moment. I got plenty of tents. Yeah, we're gonna take this out, then head over to Baron, probably by way of Miss. Uh, no, just over to Baron directly. I'll buy a soul club or something. Things have to be an aggregate or two way though, I think at this point. Like, I'm for both of Hi, Bygan. I'm gonna block up because Bygan will. Ice two. Now. Dang it. Why did Vampire have to do so much damage? Oh, 
No, you're gonna explode. Why? Why do you hate my black mage? I need him to get levels. He's the only one I really care about getting levels, and you just do not want him to up get anything. This is so rude. So rude. Just let my Palom have some levels, please. Hi, Antwine. This is gonna be Sid. Doesn't do anything other than change rows because I'm in the front row. Change rows. We're still dead. Sid is gonna be chemistry. Oh my gosh, stop killing Palin. Stop killing Palum! There is a very heavily armored Sid for you to hit, so could you not hit Palum? For one sec- for like... One second. Thank you, Palum, for dodging. There, Palum can now take one hit. Yay, Palin gets levels now. There's your other level 2 elemental spells. Cool. Now you have a solution other than Ice 2. Bye, Antlion. I didn't change rows, so... I don't need to change back. We're all still sitting in the back row, which is fine, because everyone in this party is back row glitched except Palum, and Palum is not going to be using physical attacks. Cool! More reasons to go to Torea. I'm definitely gonna head there after Baron. Actually, I could route Twin Harp into... That seems t that's tempting, actually. Just Twin Harp into Earth Crystal into Baron Inn. That is some spicy routing. That I really don't mind doing. Hi, Evil Wall. I'm glad to see you here. This Ice Dude should do it. But yeah, I think I might just head straight for Troroya. It depends how much, how long I want to fade the bull. But I think I should head straight for Troroya and do that Twin Harp check now. I've got some good physical damage. I've got some really good defense. No White Mage, but that's okay. The Cecils are Paladins now. Uh, and I have seen them. No point in bringing a second Palom up to Toria. I can, I'm gonna loot the treasury first, just in case I get something that boosts one of these characters up, but... It's gonna be Twin Harp, into Music, into Zot, for more characters, Light Mage Potential, into Baron Inn. Oh, well, Music, I'm gonna Treasury and Shop first, but... It just plays faster. Pretty fast. Treasury. You're calling my name. 
I'm glad I didn't hit up Toroya early, because I got all the chain items for Toroya right now, and we won't have to come back to the Toroya ever, area ever again. Unless there's something in the shop that I don't want now, but I might want later. Yeah, I got the Earth Crystal. It's one of exactly two key items I've obtained. Okay. So far, not much, other than that those Samurai arrows again. I don't need a third Dragoon. <laughs> third Gun Year. That's about all I saw. This seed really wants cane. Really wants to make sure you got that gun gear for your cane. Like I, I got one. See, you don't worry. I, I got, I got the gun gear. I can probably sell one of those ninja shirts. I'm not gonna take two ninjas. I just, you, the ninja shirt is kind of nice for Edge for the Z, especially for the Z fight because it gives him actually a decent amount of magic defense. But I'm not gonna take two, and it sells for a lot of money. Probably also not going to dart that. Mm, there's no way I used that ice armor. It, it's not getting used. Like, there's just certain things that I'm not going to use. Oh, I, that fire is what also needs to go. Star Veil's acquired. We were gonna get in my way, so I'm just gonna walk around. Time to walk it into Cave Magnus. Everyone should be magnetized. Given how far I'm away from go mode, I'm going to make all these checks now. Since I haven't found underground access yet. And I got both Twin Harp and Earth Crystal as my first two key items. I'm going to take care of both of those right away. And not have to revisit the toy area. And I shouldn't have trouble with any of these bosses. I mean, Wyvern maybe would be rude. Fiber would be rude. I'm gonna, I'll probably leave a save at the bottom here. After grabbing this. That's actually really useful for once the cutscene is over. I can throw that on Talon. Safety save. Just in case this is a wyvern or something really obnoxious. But I'm not too terrified of this spot, especially with Sid and King. It's it here, especially, actually, but King being outfitted well also helps a lot. Huh. Well. Yeah. Turn my game sound down a little bit, just because I just realized it was a little loud, but I'll be quiet for music. Always nice to get the music check in during the seed. Ooh. Final Fantasy 2, I believe. Not this. This is Final Fantasy 4, not this. The actual Final Fantasy 2. It might be 3, but it's definitely not 1. But it's one of the. I think it's 2. Yep, main theme, Final Fantasy 2. Okay, this is fine. I know this would be free with... I'll give Palom some stuff later. Stop picking on Palom. 
I'm like pound alive. Oh my god. Ford AI, can you not pick on Palin? Please. <sighs> Ford AI has just decreed that Palin is not allowed to live. Because I can't level up my Palum, you know? Why would I want to do that? This is actually kind of bad. I don't have life potions yet. Palum manages to live, which means that you're going to... Wow, you let me get Palum a turn. Hold on while I... Outfit Palum and let him do some damage. Palum is doing damage. Ow. Okay, Palum is up. That's good. Three more levels for him. He needs those. He needs to get closer to the virus. I don't have exit, so... But I don't really have anyone who can learn exit except for Pallet and Cecil. <sighs> That's not what I want to see. I don't want to be doing a hook route. I mean, I guess it's okay. With the Runax, I can tear through a lot of the checks. I wanted the trap chest down there. And with... And Palom and Kano are doing decent damage. I've got good stuff for them. I just need stuff for... Whoever else decides to join. And I need to figure out who else is joining. I would also really like a white mage. Please, game. Give me a white mage. I mean, I can do this without a white mage, but I would like it. Really, I'd really appreciate it if you showed me one. I need to re-equip you. You do not need these bows. But you can have the diamond ring. the seed. I gotta go faster than this. Let's just go. Up Zot. Get me two more character checks before this hook route. And I'm also gonna check Baronin and Mag Baronin and Fabul just in case it's another just in case there's a Magna Key somewhere and I can skip the hook route altogether, which would be lovely. So I would rather not do that. Although the hook is nice. I mean, finding the hook is nice because I do need to turn in the rat tail, potentially, so it's half of that objective, but still. Would rather have a magma key, although the hook route will give me experience, which for this party, I might need that for this Um, I can anchor for this, I think. I 
I'm gonna go slow, I think, because I don't think I can quite outspeed this yet. 15 seems a little low. So I'm just gonna get Kane to RA1. Let's try Battle Speed 6! I really doubt Palom is gonna get this off. Yeah, no surprises there. We need to make sure everyone's up. That is number one priority. Can go in the air. You grab your runats back now that it doesn't make a difference. Okay, Palm has left. Bounce that spell. That's kind of okay. Can you all light them up? I need more life potions though. Oh, come on. Taxid, please do damage. Wyvern, can you not be here? Can you not do Wyvern things? We're gonna jump the team, try to get a little bit more damage. This spot has so much health. I should have just sat on your turn. I should have. Definitely just sat on your turn. Whack. I have two life potions left. Great. Thanks for healing yourself. I mean, this does mean that he has, I have a little bit more time before... There's 500 damage. Can come down, please. Okay, Palom still not getting off a spell because why would he get off any spells? This is a really rude zone. I'm gonna leave. Wyvern here is very rude and I have no life potions. Nope. Wrong save. Bye, Wyvern. You're extremely rude, and I have zero life potions because I haven't seen them yet. I'm gonna go to Aggret, because I think Aggret has life potions. I have to be on battle speed 6 to get through that, which is silly. And then also... There. Now I can win, get through Wyvern with a Battle of Attrition, but I'm going to go to Baron in first. Make that check. That Wyvern is very rude. If I could not have to fight that Wyvern, that would be appreciated. Uh, let's stick you in the middle now, because you're the faster character. 
Poor Young. I knew I'd seen you. There's a Young here. I don't know if I want Young. Alright, CPU. Just jump on the back thing. This CPU has no health, so... Yeah. Just I know where Wyvern is now. I don't think taking a Cecil will help my will help me there. Hi, Aquaman. Yeah, he hit a little hard. But Talon hits pretty hard too. I do not want to chase that. I don't think I take this young. He's not going to be that useful. Mm. That wyvern. Do I want to even worry about that wyvern before I die? Hook? Probably. Wyvern's probably going to be easier than the hook route. Maybe I do Ebon Castle Trap Chest first? That could be an option. I'm going to do Fabul first, because... No point in baiting that any longer. I guess I should save, just in case there's something rude here, but I think I, I can deal with everything here, I think. I guess a Golbez could. Well, yeah. Sid and Kane would both be fine. They're both Dragoon armored up. Hi, Pale Dim. Pound's useless here. That's okay because I don't think I'll need him. Kelvin's fairly free. And now Talon has Virus. That will help, actually, against Wyvern, because Vi he will be able to get those Virus casts off before Wyvern nukes him. And he should be doing a decent amount of damage with those. I mean, I'll also take that Pan. That's a decent reward for not fading for Bula is getting the pan, which lets me skip everything. This makes me single dip self, and now I know I would have had to double dip, and I won't have to triple dip. That's probably gonna get checked as soon as I get underground. Uh, let's check this item shop, because I still need tents. I don't think I've seen any camping gear. That's a little spooky. Yeah. I think I'm gonna head back for Wyvern now with the experience from here. And that pan. It's really not that far. But, you know, I haven't unlocked anything else by doing other checks, other than going through this hook route, which I really don't want to do. But I think definitely having a virus here will help. So I need Battle Speed 6, sit in the middle with a Dwarf Axe to start the battle. I can switch him to the Rune Axe during battle, that's fine. 
If Pound can get viruses bounced off of Kane's wall, that will help a lot. Like, that should be doing some big damage. It's 9,000 hit points at this spot, which is a lot, but not undefeatable, especially since Wyvern takes off a good 3,500 of them himself for putting up one wall. And, you know, I'm can hit for about 500 each time. Talon will probably do closer to 1,000. Let's do all the setup. Just go all out, because I know I'm going to need it. I'm actually going to put Kane up top to get him a little bit higher priority than Talon. He's still got 5 agility, or 17 now, which is a bit better. That might actually be fast enough. And that I could use him as an anchor. And slow Wyvern down. I might want to use Kane as an anchor here, because Kane might be fast enough to outpace the Mega Nuke. I'm actually going to try that. Still at low battle speed, but I'm going to try Kane anchor. Still put Palom above King. And you know, if it doesn't work, we'll go back. But I think Kane is faster than this spot at this point. I know the next spot is 18 agility, and this that spot is faster than the Mega Sisters, so Kane should be fast enough. We'll see about Palom, but Kane should be fast enough at least. I really doubt Sid's fast enough, but... Getting... Oh, Sid is fast enough, apparently. Well, this is easy now. That should kill. Yeah. Perfect. Got the levels, came back. Everything was better. <laughs> uh, I didn't even need to use Virus. It just... Got my agility set up better. Let's remember to get off of Wyvern Standard Time. Uh, screen pro graphical froze for a second there, but that's okay. Let's get this check taken care of. I don't want the Sid. I do not want another Sid. Maybe later as an anchor, but not now. Kinazo is our second spot of Dwarf Castle, which is actually quite nice. Kinazo is not going to do too much there. So, knowing that Kinazo is out of the picture is really nice for that hook round, especially since I already know Evil Wall is out as well. Cecil again? Seriously? This is not Distinct 5. I, I promise you, this is not C Distinct 5. There are 11 different characters that can show up. And we have only seen 5 of them. So, Zot was a bust in terms of characters, but that's okay. Oh, Dark Imps. They're gonna hit pretty hard. But we have Virus. And Kane is jumping. Let's tier 2 pound. Whatever. The dimps are fine. This spot is not worth that much experience, so I'm not going to bother life clicking. Well, I guess I could. That one's going to go down from this Virus, I assume, I think. Yeah. Figured. Down to the second one, I get one life push off. I have spare life potions, so that's not an issue. Just fight. Virus. 
Lyris is so nice. Kind of was gonna get Quake by the time we go through the hook route. This is good. Not quite yet. Oh no, he did. Good thing I life clicked then. Palom now has Quack, Quack, which will take care of a lot of things. So that is going to be very helpful in getting on the ground. Quack Kid being online already. And you know, I didn't have to fade Zot for too long. We got this taken care of. It's another check that is off the pit table. I'm gonna make a quick, mi quick misty check, I think, before diving hook out, but. Not actual value, but Palum certainly does not hate to see that. Why not make Palum even more overpowered? Not really overpowered, he's just I love Palum. Let's look for Demist here. Quick Demist check. Just before I do this hook route. I'd like to make sure I take care of my freebie. Demis checks. Bye, Plague. It's a little disappointing that you're off the table for moon bosses, but that's okay, I guess. It's either Dewooners or Ogo now. Uh, I need my hovercraft. Never grabbed that. Do I want Evelyn Castle experience? Kind of, but not really. I'm not really low on loot either. I'm low on white mages. And ninjas. Mostly low on white mages. Although I think I would be willing to do a double... Black mage setup. When it came to that, I, although I'd want to slingshot the second pound. Yeah, I don't need any of that right now. Maybe later. Uh, is there a curse ring in here? No. Nothing there. I'm not afraid of this trap chest. It should be fine. Oh, well, either one. I'm gonna be. I'm not looting, gonna full loot, but I'm gonna do some loot. White sword. I still don't want Cecil. Because I have too many party members for two Cecils to really work. So I will take that shield. I don't believe Kane. Yeah, I was like, I think Kane's still on his iron shield. Speaking of which, do I have anything better for you there? No. Acceptable. This should be fine. Kane and Sid are very well armored. Palum, not so much, but. Come on. Don't kick Palm while he's down. Great. This is bad. Sid's not gonna die. But I would like Palm to get experience. So we're gonna revive Palm. I said, we're going to revive Pound. Okay. Sid's tanking all these hits. Nice, Sid went up, but now Kane is down, that's bad. Can you not put my whole party to sleep? Are you kidding me? Game. Kane is fine. Kane is perfectly safe. Stale man. Why? Why do you have sleep touch? This is just it's so annoying. Just let me get Palin back up. 
Thank you for not getting put to sleep, Kane. Life pound. Then life said. Keep putting life potions on people. Okay. You should be dead. There. We made it. Not easily, but we made it. I don't care about the levels as much. I mean, that's a little spicy, but I do not have Iridia. Although I could take Iridia, slingshot her off Mad Ogres, which is going to be fairly safe. And get a whole bunch of experience. Uh, let's just use a tent now. I am almost out of tents. This is not a good position to be in. Where the heck were they? Were they just not on the overworld? Because I didn't see them. I think I checked all the shops. Maybe I skipped Mesidia. I might have just skipped Mesidia shops. They're probably there. Whatever. I'll find them. I am very tempted by Second King. Because Mom Bomb here is very rude, and illusions are not available. There has been no white mage. Second Kane is looking tempting. Although I don't have a ton of good armor. I have another gun. I have a spare gun nears for him. I have a spare weapon for him. Yeah, he's just gonna go down. I'll take him later. Maybe. Assuming no white mages. Oh, monsters. Okay. Nice dodge power. Sid can take some hits. Tom, can you get a turn, please? Soon. We're not. That's fine. Ow. Let's get one life glitch at least. I'm just gonna... That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to wipe you. I want to cure two of you, but that's fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Came to kill that one. Yeah. I don't need the experience here that much. I mean, it would be nice, but I don't need it, need it. Oh, come on. No. How is missing out? That's okay. Kane and Sid are... The, Kane is the one who really needs it. Talon is fine. Of course I get a second Runex. Why not? I'm gonna love being out of camping gear after hook route. You know, that's always a great feeling when you run out of camping gear. I'll take the long sword. Makes ninja potential a little bit stronger. Uh, I just. I mean, this will give me a. Once I'm down here, I have access to Levy's Spot Boss, which is fine. I have the pan, so I'm gonna probably do that check and check the Fae Mark 3D and stuff. 
get all that taken care of. There really aren't that many character checks left. There's Moon, there's Baron Castle, there's Package. Um, that's about it. Oh, and Dwarf Castle. So there's four checks left. Four chances to find a character that's not one of the five that have appeared so far. Hey, Dancing Dagger. That's not useful. Oh, hi, D-Mist! This is extremely rude. Ow! This is an extremely redeemist. It's too fast. Thank you, Palin, for surviving to get a Quake off, which will take out a good chunk of this guy's health. That plus Sid is over half already. Palin goes down, which is not great. But everyone else lives. So now I can wipe up Palin. Palm is most important. Palm is very important. Oh gosh, why are you so fast? I mean, I know my anchoring situation is not good here. You're not going to get that jump off. Why did I do that? Why? 800 damage. Don't you think 800 damage is a little excessive, D-Mist? Ah, <sighs> the seed. Okay, here's a quack. This quack should finish him off. If Palum lives. If Palum manages to cast his quake, we're in the clear. We should be in the clear. Yes. Okay, Demist is gone. I'm not leaving right now to do that, but I will check that after doing the sheep souls visit and the fruit famer freebie. Hi Mom Bomb. I'm gonna go take a save. Thank you for giving me a full heal before your fight, because I'm out of camping gear. I do have to check Mysidia, I think, once I'm back up on the overworld. This is a long time to get underground. I mean, there were a couple rabbit holes on the overworld, so it's fair. Make sure I didn't forget, miss any key items? Nope. It's those five. Those are my five. Hook, Earth Crystal, King Heart, Pan, and Luka Key. Yeah, you're just gonna do that. Oh, come on. Stop picking on Palin. I should probably have anchored better for this. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm going to make Sid my anchor. Because that makes more sense. Also, I think I should give Kane the strength gear. Well, the defense is really helping him, honestly. He needs that defense in order to be surviving, so it's probably fine. I can swap back to the Rune Axe once the battle has started, but I'm going to use the Dwarf Axe to start the battle so that I have better anchoring and my Talon and my Cane are fast. Quack. I'm running low on tier 2s, but I want to make sure Palin stays alive as long as possible. 
get these quakes off because that's that's big damage. Kane's helping, but Helen is the big damage. This would be so much faster if I had taken another Palom. But I want a white mage. I want a white mage and I want to make sure I have another spot in case I want to pick up someone else. Yeah, Sid, you can take all the damage, all the hits you want. There's... Okay. We got to chew through a whole bunch of HP here. It's just unreasonable. I'm actually going to swap the virus for you. Because you got three of those as opposed to two quakes. I'm actually bluff up. I'm actually going to bluff up with you a bit. A couple times before I use, my, use the rest of my things. Do I have an ether? That's a good question. Don't think so. I do have a succubus. Oh no, I have an ether. You toss that. Helen's way. I'm gonna bluff up again. You jump. That's three quakes or five viruses. I'm gonna go virus. There's 3,000 damage of virus. That's a lot better. And of course, you take him out. Which hurts a lot, because that, I think, gets rid of all the bluffs. We'll like pal him up. I'm gonna kill Tewin. Or not, that's gonna kill Palin. Thanks for eating my tier 2. Palom, can you get a quake off? That's all I need. Sid can go down for all I care. You can attack. Well, Palom moved down because I have no cure twos. I could give him an elixir, I guess. I do have a couple of those. That might be worth it. Sid, get that off. Thank you. Palom is safe. For a tiny bit. We're late on the quack, though. So I have to reset, because all those explodes will kill me. <sighs> I hate not having Cure 2s. Not having healing is really not fun. But this is so possible if Palom lives. If Mom Bum plays nice and doesn't keep killing Palom, this is doable. If Mom Bum decides to play mean and decides to kill Palom a whole bunch, then this isn't doable. I only have three tier twos for this fight. I'm gonna bluff twice. Quack, please. Okay, you need to jump. Hallam, please get me through this spot. I think virus is probably better. Virus has no cast time, so. Or little cast time. Fine, game. Take Palom down. Why not, Mom Bomb? Just... Fine! Fine, Mom Bomb! Fine! You can kill Palom all you want. Yep. We gotta keep reviving Palom. Because Palom is very obnoxious. Palom has no defenses.
Why would I get to get that spell off? Please, Palin. Okay, that's def the bluffs are definitely on still, which is good. Sid is... I don't care, as long as he lives to... Okay. We're gonna make sure Sid stays up, or Palin stays up, as best I can. Palin, please survive. This is all I need. Stop. Stop killing my Palin. Don't kill my quack, just stop killing my quack kid. Please. Just not quack kid. Why why did you do that fast faster, Sid? That should have been after Kane. You're not even fast. Oh thank goodness. I'm using my elixirs on Palin right now. Okay. Quack. Palum is safe-ish. But we're on explode, which is bad. I don't think I got that off in time. Uh, yeah, they're gonna kill me. Oh my gosh, Mom Bomb, I hate you. I freaking hate this Mom Bomb. Time for battle speed lowering, because that's the only thing I can really do. There's no way to blink my party. I have zero access to blink. And I'm pretty sure taking a different agility anchor would be a terrible idea. And I just grab that. And attack. Keep walking, Helen. Yes, Sid, please keep taking hits. Can you not one-shot Palin, please, Mom Bomb? Maybe I should keep Kane down just to... Let me keep Kane on the ground just to... Make it more likely that Mom Bomb will hit Kane. Will not hit Palin, I guess. Because Sid and Kane can both take these hits. Fine. And Kane's back Roguelich, so it doesn't matter if he's... Swinging away from here. Come on, Palin, chew through all this health. Good king. Tank those hits. Okay, my mom's getting angry. I'm gonna go for all the damage I can. I'm gonna sit on your turn. Come on, Palom. Yes, Palom gets the quake. Done. I needed him to get that quake off. There was no other way I was taking out all those bombs. Ah, <sighs> finally, through this hook route. Now I have, like... What is it? Five free checks? 
This gives me access to an objective plus five free checks. We could hit go mode very soon. Uh, grab that, and it's there. My lawn is at the top of tower. Not bad, I'm not gonna DQ this tower right now. Because I have a whole bunch of freebies. I got framework freebie, three Shiva checks, and a Demis check to do. But we've made it underground. After a lot of annoying things. Lots of annoyingness, but we're underground. And I need to. Okay. Do I, do I need the loot? I don't need the loot. I'm good on loot. Well, except for Palin's mad armor. Palin's armor is abysmal. I'll do some looting. It's not what I'm looking for, game. Show me a sword throw. Hey, March is just kind of bad. Name our treaty, what are you, and who's at the king spot? Hello, darkness. You're not really my friend. I'm just gonna take cabins, I don't care. I need something camp some sort of camping gear. Black belt is cool. Uh, let's make sure I turn my battle speed back up. Save. I got great weaponry for all my party members, but how long is that's free. This is so free. What the heck? I don't need health for this. I do need to think about taking a fourth party member at some point very soon, but... I'm gonna bluff up with you. Just because this might be a long fight. You have no MP. Hold on. I'm actually gonna reset. To rest up to get Palom's MP. We're gonna take a nap so Palom can have some MP. So I can actually use spells. You know, so I can actually quake this guy down a bit. Because this spot has a lot of health. It's pretty beefy. And the reflective mega nukes are alone are not going to do it. But with this being an objective and it being right here, I'm going to do it right now. May as well. Let's mark that darkness before I forget it exists. We can probably get a bluff in. Starvale now. Starvale a little later. But make, still make sure everyone gets them up before the Mega Nuke. Perfect. There's 10,000 out of, I think, 35 ish thousand that we have to do. We just need to start quacking. We got six quacks. Our Star Veil should be good enough for two Mega Nukes, I think. Quack. 
The quacks are how I'm gonna get through this, really. Uh, Starville should still be up. Yes. Okay, that's 20,000 damage plus all the extra stuff that I've been doing, which is, you know, not nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Okay. I did put his Starville up first. I should probably check someone. I'm gonna check on Talon's. Or, um, or Bahamut's dead. Good. Quack is doing enough damage. We had enough Quack damage. That works. That's what Quack is for. I'm not even disappointed. That's great for Palum. He needs that. He needs that really badly. I don't need that iron ring. That's a huge upgrade for you. Uh, Levy Spot Boss is gone. Let's get out of here. I'm not gonna check whether that's Ruby or Elements. I don't care. Good, you're way up there, so I can get out of here. I'm gonna loot my way out, may as well. Grab everything there. Another cure too, that's wonderful. Given the lack of white mages so far. The complete lack of white mages. There's just been nothing. I'm gonna go for freebies, and then we're gonna head, hit up Dwarf, I think, after that. I might check package character. Because that's a white mage. Oh boy. I need a white mage desperately. I also need to figure out a grind at some point. Probably. At some point I need to figure out what I'm doing about Sid. He probably needs to go down eventually. I have the pan. So take us. So I'm gonna whack you, young. What are you doing in this bed? You're one of the five characters that's appeared so far. Great. Not useless, but. Eh, well, I can toss some other stuff. Why does it drop that input sometimes? That's. So obnoxious. Exit. I don't want any of those items. <sighs> okay, let's go wake up, go return the pan to Sheila. Check Mysidia on the way. For tents. And it was still like tents. I don't think I checked this item shop. I think I got too excited by characters. Or oh, we'll raise, raise the big well too. Oh yeah, moon character. Let's do that. Let's do moon character and moon shop. Because I will be needing some illusions probably. Although I don't know. Leviathan spot ball. Leviathan is already down. Not too long, actually, to get Leviathan down, although it was a free spot, you know. At least it's the objective's out of the way. And I'm just looking for Tower Key and Rat Tail at this point, or both halves of Excal. That's all I'm looking for. I have everything else I need. Though I will have to figure out a grind, which would be probably... I don't know what my grind would be. I'm still figuring that out, but Moon character is definitely something I want to check, because if this is a white mage, honestly at this point I would take a Porum into the party in a heartbeat, like, I don't care. I don't care which white mage you are, I just need a white mage. Toa, of course, is already coming, no questions asked, but... Who's here? Just show me. Show me who is on the Lunar Dais. Uh, I think honestly at this point it's just take a white mage. 
Can I not? No. I don't want you. I don't need another Sid. No. I do not need more Sids. I don't need more Sids in my life. I'm gonna not check the shop. I'm just gonna go back down. And continue grabbing those freebies. It's freebies and then four probably because I want to check that character. Because this party is not great. If I need to, I will slingshot a Palom off of something eventually. And I'll use Palom as my fifth character. That I don't mind, but I need to slingshot him. I would like to slingshot him if I'm taking him down. I'm skipping the city of shop, I don't care. It was tents. I don't need tents. Sheila, what do you have? You've always got the goods. Come on, Sheila. Don't let me down. I have to say, a three-person party is not ideal. I honestly think I probably should have just taken a second pound on it. Baron Key is definitely something. And I'll take Legend. Baron Key is two more checks, plus another character option after Dwarf. I'm gonna do Dwarf first, but then I'm gonna do Baron. Sealed Cave is getting faded, because I wanna combine character checks. Still. Uh, let's take off Baron and Legend. Let's do Demist. Demist. I'm at 8 key items now, though, which is as well, which is good, because, you know, the more key items I get, once I get to 10 key items, that's double experience, and I would really like double experience. That's a sand ruby. That's not useful, but I will take it because that gets me even closer to 10 key items. I forget who was in the bed, but it was someone I didn't care about. Definitely someone who I didn't care about. Maybe an Eddie or something, but not useful. Not a particularly useful character, at least. Uh, I am going to need the heal up here. Uh, we'll put we'll leave Sid in the middle because Sid is needs the accuracy bonus. I'm a bit over leveled for Dwarf Castle. This should be fine. Hi Mega Sisters. I have Quack. I don't think you're gonna stand much of a chance. Uh, let's get this check taken care of. I want the character here. Check Baron next because I want the character there. And then I start going for the less appealing checks like Keyless Tower or Queen of the Fame Arch or Sealed Cave. Or I could just go to the moon. That's also an option. Nice miss. Sid is going to do bonus damage to this spot, so we should be good here. Thank you, Sid, for doing 3,000 damage. Quack. Finishes them off. Easy fight. Wow, Palom learned warp. Too bad there's no warp glitch. So this is just one key item here. It is still a check, and I want the character, so I'm going to do it. Plus, if I get to 10 key items before I go to the moon, that would help out a lot as well. Right, you were Kainazo. This is interesting. Do I want you? Hmm. Sure. I'm feeling not optimistic about the rest of the characters. At this point, I'll just take an edge. What do I have for you? A long sword and a mute knife. That's good enough.
This wave shouldn't hurt too much, because it's not a super high HP spot. A uh, virus is going to be enough to kill here. Yeah, I'm willing to take Edge along. I got some weapons, I guess, for him, and I can steal Bakai if I want to from Matter of Vision Castle up and up on Castle. Which I might end up doing if I don't have a White Mage. But with only Baron Castle, uh. Yeah, Baron Castle, Giant, and Package character checks left. I'm just not feeling optimistic enough to about the character locations that I'll take an edge even without great gear for him. He's got some utility. That might have been a mistake, but it's fine. What's our key item? That is the rat tail. That's really good. That's 10 key items and the ability to finish this seed quickly. Uh, cure 3s. I'm going to stock up. I definitely want cure 3s. I would like better edge weapon, better ninja swords, if possible. If there's a long sword in here, that would be really appreciated. I might check Baron Weapon Shop as well. Something long sword-ish. I don't need anything better. How many other use that guy drum? I also have a ton of darts for edge, so. Uh I'll take the boomerang. Yeah, that was it. So I am, at this point, Tower Key or Adamant from Go Mode, and with Rat Tail on the table, I definitely want to turn that in, because that could be one of those two. Plus that's 10 key items, so... Is it 10? Yeah, Rat Tail is 10 key items. I have the Rat Tail. Let's get my Enterprise. I'm gonna hope for a good edge weapon at some point. That's what I'm hoping for, just one. The long sword is good decent, I just want to replace the meat knife. <sighs> Although my fifth character might end up being a second Palom, which would be fine. I have two threes. That's even more darts. That that is tech that is makes edge a little more valuable, I suppose. I'm gonna check Baron Weapon and Armor Shop for stuff for Edge. For my ninja. And then I think it's uh clear maybe clear baron. I think I'll do the baron checks and then I'm gonna head to the moon. Because of the character. Because if there's a white mage in here, I'm fine. And clearing the moon should get me all the levels I need for the final fight, so I'm not worried about that. With 10 key items, it's just... Okay, nothing for Edge. I'll take one of those for Palin. Let's me pass his ring over to Edge. He can wear the diamond ring, he cannot, but he can have silver gauntlets, which look better. And I should save. I forgot who was there. I need to buy a silk web also. It'll be fine on HP for Baron. Make sure I have a couple silk webs. Let's check Baron. I really want to. Oh. Because I'm gonna dig out, I'm gonna try to dig out this white mage while I can. I'm not gonna make exclusive character checks, but I'm not gonna make any. Uh, I'm not gonna make character exclusives, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna prioritize the key item checks with characters, just because I would like a white mage. 
Otherwise, I'll just grab a second Palom and tear and head up to the moon and start tearing through it because I really do want to have five characters for the moon, and I'll probably end up using Sid as my anchor. And we'll see what I get from moon stuff. Right, you're either Ogo or, or Dealers. <sighs> That's fine. Whatever, they're gonna go down so fast anyway, but like... Yeah. Edge goes down, that's okay. Quack is gonna kill. And demoners are gone. Double experience here, which is cool, I suppose. Ice 3 on Palom. Yeah, we're probably looking at levels that are good enough to take the moon. Can't exactly heal. So we're just gonna charge right in. I'm gonna get that edge off his edge off the ground, but that's it. Well I could use my tier threes. You know. That I bought. Make sure everyone is at some decent health. Of course it doesn't matter because it's Golbez. The chain's not gonna get in the air. Whatever. Hi, Golbez. Oh, I do need to wrap up the seed soon, though. Yeah, I think after this, if this isn't a white mage, I grab Palom. I grab a second Palom and start clearing the moon in hopes that I find something up there. Goodness. Yeah, that hurts. It's more important that you have enough health to live through the virus. Nice. Yeah, I was like, that should be enough. I just want to clear the spot. Sid can be on the ground, that's okay. He is probably going to be my anchor. I should probably be thinking about leaving him down anyway, because he's my anchor. And I don't want him to get too many levels. Actually, I might slingshot you up. I have Bahamut. Let's do it. Screw white mages. I have enough summons. I have summons for you. You can be my healer. I have Asura. I think. I know I have Bahamut. I think I have Asura as well. So Rydia can be my healer. I can slingshot her up. Get her a ton of levels from moon bosses. Which means probably Riven Room is first now. Because I would like that to get be worth 400,000 experience for her and get her ridiculous level and get her well on her way up to the amount she needs. She's probably not going to get to nuke level, but 
That's okay. That apple will help her as well. Um, I should check Baron Basement while I'm here. Because I can definitely do that. Rydia needs to go down. I'm going to put Rydia in the anchor slot, actually, for now. I do have a Surah in Bahamut. I'm not going to wear them now. I'm not going to use them in this fight. I'm not going to actually be able to use them for a little bit. I'm going to try to keep her down for this fight. Just because I want to sing her off Ribbon Room. I'm going to go bottom up room. There's a good amount of experience on them in the tanky items. That's like a good... With the 400... She's probably going to get well into the 40s from the moon. Not too nuke level, but that's okay. Bye, guests. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for taking out my anchor. most of the work here. But the lit ones aren't scary. That's a little bit spooky, but should be fine. Just keep clacking. And hopefully the rest of my party can put together about as much damage as one quack. Before this is over. They should be able to. So you let one of me down. Just don't punch Palom again. That's all I want. Cool. My wanted friends are down. Fire three and lit three. Oh, I finished trade Rat Tail a while ago. Uh, no, I have not defeated Zeromus. Hey, Pink Tail. I might turn that. I'm gonna turn that in. Hoping for. Uh, cane gear, really. Well, edge gear, actually. Definitely edge gear. Uh, we're gonna take this Rydia. She's gonna be my healer. Because... No white mages means I'm gonna rely on the Asura summon for healing, and maybe stealing boxes, maybe just not worrying about Zerking, because... I don't know if it's worth it to steal Bakai. I don't need that many, I don't think. Uh, let's trade that pink tail. It's probably worth it to trade this. Just may as well see what it is before I head up to the moon. Who's here? You know, I'm not gonna complain. That's a huge upgrade for Kane, so I will take it. Kane is going to absolutely wreck any dragons that are left, which is none of them in terms of bosses, but that's okay. Yes, keep going. Better get back to the city so we can head to the moon so that I can start clearing that out. And take out the seven checks up here. Well, actually, yeah, no, Rydia is gonna get slingshotted from the first thing I fight, no matter what. Will is there anything that I think I can take that would not get her to 
Maybe Cave Bahamut wouldn't. I think Cave Bahamut might be worth enough, well enough amount of experience that I could get her. I wouldn't get her to swing shot range. Although no, she gains levels pretty quickly early on. She takes a while later, but she gains levels very fast early. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just dive down the moon, bottom of the moon, except terrain. Let's start by uh, equipping Rydia. Which includes giving her that. And that. I need to heal. Then we can dive down to the ribbon room. This party should be fine to take out the ribbon room. We got a very strong cane. A decent ninja. I mean, we have a ninja. He's not great, but he's doing okay. Oh, goodness. Just once I would love a sub two hour finish, but it just doesn't seem destined to happen. Time for, well this spot is worth like 60,000 total with double key items. I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna see what this is, whether this will get really out of slingshot range or not, because if it doesn't, then I want to take it first. Plus, your Dark Elf. I mean, it's gonna be hard keeping Rydia alive through this fight, but at least for the beginning. That's not great. Quack. This spot also doesn't have that much health. Well, Sid will be able to take... Sid will be doing a lot of damage, at least. And Edge would too, if he lived. Not Palum. Edge will be able to survive this. Oh, this Dark Elf. You be a chemist for now.
Stop turning everyone into a pig. I'm not gonna bother getting Lydia back up until we change. Try Cure 2, taken into the ether because this thing is going to kill Talon. You can jump. Oh my gosh, you're so freaking fast. I can't zerk. That's the big issue here, is I can't zerk. I think it might be better putting Edge in the middle. Genuinely think that might work out better. And fast anchoring here, as opposed to slow anchoring. Because I can't zerk anyone up, so doesn't matter if I... So I want the boss to be slower rather than my party to be faster, because... Whatever. Wow, 700 damage. See, now I'm getting, like, my cure freeze in in time. Everything is working out. This is much better without Rydia in the middle. Okay. I mean, these spells are only dangerous after the week, so... Just keep chipping away. Please not, Talon. Stop pitying, Talon. Although I suppose it means that now I can use Talon as my chemist, as a good chemist, and Sid can start attacking. Okay, we got the change. I don't trust you to do this. I think this is a time to hourglass. Well, I'm trying to get rid of some levels. Right, go potions. Thank you. Plus one to Palin. I mean, at this point, this is a free fight. <sighs> Thanks, King. Twenty-six. That puts her at twenty-seven. I believe that's still in slingshot range. Yeah, I believe she's still in slingshot range. After all that. Psh, can't use that. Yeah, with the rest of my party's levels, she's still in slingshot range. That's one. That's exactly what I wanted. I mean, I may as well give her 100,000 experience, and then give her the 400,000 slingshot. And then, that's already... These two fights are going to take care of half of her experience, which is amazing. Yeah, I think we'll stick with Fast Anchor for now. It's working better. Rydia has Bahamut, is already equipped for everything. We're gonna just double star veil here. Mm. 
Spiel überhaupt. Ich habe auch wieder Damage. Edge, get the second Star Veil off. Oof. Pretty is in danger. But I have no way of blinking. Bahamut! Help me. Help me defeat Asira. Ow. Do your healing. Kane did not need that. Have a Dungnu. I have three of them. Three thousand damage. Okay, Kane, please tank. Worth it. Do two thousand damage. Okay, Palom is fine. Do another Bahamut. Pretty, I only have three, but that should be fine. We're gonna keep throwing Dungnu's. And if Edge goes down, it's kind of not the end of the world. Bahamut. Tear through this Asura spot. If Rydia goes down, that is the the end of the world. Hey, thanks for healing up Sid. Now Sid can take another hit. Let's get Edge back up. In his turn, just because I would like Edge up. Quack. Don't kill Rydia. Okay, cool. That is a useless spell. I don't know if I want to hurt my last game. One of those. I have a light sword. Sure. Throwing things. Edge at six levels here. Because we're, we're kind of not great levels. Fourteen more levels for Rydia. That puts her solidly in the forties. And it's completely haunted. Why? Why, game? Why do you do this to me? Uh, I'm also gonna put uh, Kane in the front row, actually. Yeah, Rydia's really caught up, completely caught up now. Who needs Crystal Rain? We'll make you, we'll give you the Crystal Rain. Make you even faster. Oh goodness, I really have to finish this. I might have to... I might not finish this seed, because I've got something to be in, in 10 minutes. But I'm going to try. I would love to find Domo. If I hit... I'm going to try to hit Go Mode, I might not do the Z fight. But I'll hit Go Mode at least. The Z fight I'm not worried about. I'd just probably clear the rest of the moon. Use a Sura to keep myself alive, and then do that. I need tap one of two key items at this point. Come on. I'm gonna throw all my darts now. Okay. Would like you out of your spinny tornado form. Okay. Let's get some damage on Bell. Ow. Baham. Bahamut. Please save me from all these bosses. Oh dear. You should be twirling up, right? Yes. But King can break back down. And by Sid. You can get, take your turn to get Sid back up. Val takes another quack. 
Where'd he go? Do a Bahong. Are you kidding me? That's not what I wanted to do at all. It's your turn. Yes, it's gone. You're gonna toss a heal potion to Rydia. Because I don't want her turning to stone. Uh -huh. Have another gun here. Oh, Val. Go away. Thank you for going away. But he is still gaining levels. Uh, great. Other fun fact is I don't have exit, so... Yeah. Not great. Time to walk. Well, I have warp, so... I can at least warp out of here. Probably what I'll be doing from the Crystal Sword Altar. Why are there no key items up here at all? The moon totally haunted. Because I don't want to have to go back to the key, like, couple locations I left behind on Earth. I don't have time to go back for the couple locations I left behind on Earth. I definitely don't have time for a Z fight now. Well, I mean, I'm getting good practice in at least. I... Forgot to heal. I also don't have a Thunderclaw for Edge, which makes this awkward, but Palom should be able to let three Odin down. Palom and Rydia together should be able to let three of them down, honestly. Because they both have lit three. I'm not super worried about levels at this point. Start charging lit three. Don't hit her again. You also charge lit three. That's fine. Boom. One hit. This spot doesn't have a ton of health, so if this list three, as long as this list three gets off, he's probably dead. Or if Kane lands. Yeah. I knew this spot didn't have a ton of health, so I could get through it. Helm has weak. So I could technically demachine my last levels if I really wanted to with Palom. And that's go mode. Um, I'm not going to be able to fight Z because I don't have the time for it. But I'll show off what's in Coco's shop. We got go mode. Oh, it's going to take forever to get out of the moon. You know what? Since it's going to take forever to get out of the moon and I'm not going to be fighting Z anyway, I don't have the time for it. I'm just going to call it a stream here. Uh, this was fun. But I don't think the Z fight would have been too much of an issue at these levels. Maybe I would have taken a couple more fights to get new compound, but that's it. Anyway, that's new for me for today. I will be... My stream schedule is going to be a little bit wonky, and if you come in the future, I'm not going to be able to stream as often, but I will try to stream some of this when I can. And whenever I get back to streaming this, I'll see you on. Um,